everyone and welcome to part one of my Valentine's Day hair and makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create these big glamorous waves using hot rollers. So if you want to see how I did it then keep watching. Okay, so the rollers that I'm using today are from Enrapture, they are the extremity rollers, but to be honest it doesn't really matter which brand you decide to buy. I've tried a few different brands out, and the only difference I find is how easy it is to put the rollers in. In general the results are kind of all the same with the rollers that I've tried, so you can get a really good pair for £30, um, or you can go for the more expensive pair which are a little bit kind of easier to put in, um, the clips are easier to kind of clip on but they are more expensive, I think these are about £75. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is section my hair. Make sure you've brushed it, if you haven't brushed it already, I have, just because you don't want any knots in it. And then I'm just going to section it in half horizontally and tie it up on the top of my head. And then once you've done that, I just want to pull the sections forward and spray on a little bit of heat protectant. The heat protectant I'm using is Schwarzkopf Got To Be, which is very cheap, but I find that it works, so it's all good, and it smells nice too. So, I'm just going to spray in a little bit of that and just run my fingers through it just to kind of disperse the product. And then once the rolls have heated up we're going to start putting them in. As you can see with my set I have a mixture of kind of medium to large size ones and then medium to small size ones. I don't have any extremes of large or small rollers in here and to be honest if you want the loose wave kind of relaxed look you want to be using larger rollers so I try and do all of my hair using the larger size of this set and then usually I run out the end and start to use kind of a couple of smaller ones at the front. So what you want to do is just take about an inch and a half section and smooth it between your hands just to make sure you don't have any kind of nasty bits of hair going the wrong direction and then I like to place the roll about halfway down the section of hair and kind of just push it down to the end and where my hair starts to kind of tail off because I've got layers a little bit I like to tuck the little tail round the roller and then underneath the new bit of hair that you're putting around the roller like that so just kind of wrap it in on itself so that it's all nice and neat and you want to go underneath the hair, you don't want to go upwards otherwise you'll end up with very flat, funny looking curls. So you just want to roll that all the way up to the top and then use the clip. Just take another section, smooth it out, just run it down the hair, and roll it up. Okay, so once you've done that, you're not going to look particularly glamorous, but you just want to take down the top layer of your hair, and then do exactly the same thing. So split them up, spray in a little bit of heat protectant. I'm going to leave the front section out for now, just because that's the best bit to put in small um, size rollers if you have it. So I'm just going to continue doing exactly the same on the top layer. So once I've run out of the bigger size rollers, I'm going to just use two smaller ones for the front. And you just want to do it in exactly the same way. If you have more big ones, then definitely carry on using the bigger ones for the front because it will create a bit more volume. But you can, and this is what I tend to do as well, is just create the shape that you want at the front, mainly using straighteners after I take the rollers out. So I'm just going to clip these in. Okay, so once you're done, you're going to look really unglamorous and grannyish, but you want to wait about 25 minutes to half an hour just for the rollers to cool down. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, so once the rollers have cooled down, I'm just going to switch on my hair straighteners and let them heat up, but I'll get back to them in a moment. What you want to start doing is just take out the rollers one by one from the bottom. So I'm just going to unclip it first, and then unroll the curl. And once you've done that, you just want to roll it around your finger just to make sure it's all nice and together and as you can see you get a nice loose wave. So what I'm going to do with my straighteners now actually is that I don't know whether you guys will be able to see but as I'm pulling the rollers out and I don't know whether this is actually a fault with just these rollers but I tend to get um, sometimes get like a line like a crease where the clamp has been holding onto it. I'm pretty sure it is with these rollers because of the heated clamps but I also find it helps to kind of smooth the top part of your hair where there is no curl if you just run your straighteners through the very, very root of the hair. So once I've taken out each curl, I just run my straighteners once or twice 
round the root of the hair as well. So I'm going to pull the next one out, curl it around my finger, and then just get right into the root. And this doesn't need to take the volume out either because you want to make sure you curve your straighteners round as you're doing it so that it pulls it away from the root and doesn't flatten it. And like I said before, what I like to do with the front is usually just kind of shape them how I want them with the straighteners rather than with the rollers because you can be a little bit more precise. Okay, so once you've done that, you should be left with something that looks a little bit like this. So lots of volume and curls, especially in the end. So what I'm going to do now is just pump a little bit of Moroccan oil onto my hand and then just work it through the curls. Just about half a pump of this because it is quite um, heavy stuff. Just to help kind of make those curls look a little bit more glossy and to separate them just a little bit. And then we're pretty much done, it's as easy as that. What I'm going to do now is spray a little bit of hairspray in just to stop the curls dropping more than I would want them to. Um, this is Richard Ward's Couture Hair Hairspray, but you can use any. So that is it for my Glamorous Waves hair tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Like I said in the beginning, this hairstyle is especially for Valentine's Day, hence the jumper as well with the big heart on it. And if you're looking for some makeup to wear for Valentine's Day as well, then make sure you check out part two of my Valentine's Day tutorials, which will be up next week for the makeup look that I'm wearing now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!